Muslim degeneration and its only remedy by Alana Eh Tasham Ul Hassan Kandalvi translated by Malik Hak Nawaz Author's Preface For the high devotion, keenness, and dedication of the Malana Muhammad Elias Rahmata Alay and also due to the deep eagerness shown by many other learned and pious dignitaries among the Muslim and organized work is currently in progress for the propagation of Islam and the Islamic way of life. This fact is known to the most of the well-informed Muslimin of this period, although an unworthy being for the high mission, I have been commanded by the distinguished gentleman referred to above to write an account of this work so as to bring out clearly the special features of tablig, you know, preaching, as to highlight the intense need for this, the supreme Islamic activity at this critical time, so that many Muslimin, that as many Muslimin as possible, are able to understand and benefit from what is going on. In obedience to their command, I have set out together in this booklet, of, booklet a few thoughts and ideas, which are more, mere drops in the ocean of knowledge and wisdom possessed by the above-mentioned personalities. The collection really amounts to a handful of petals from the vast garden from the teachings of Islam, which I have hurriedly picked up for the presentation to the readers. There may be the stakes and the missions in the presentation for which I beg my readers to make allowance and request them to be so kind as to amend or correct those mistakes if necessary, and thereby earn my thankfulness. It's my earnest supplication that God falls beneath him and he is the high by his special favor and kindness for the sake of the noble personalities connected with this work may forgive me my sins and not uncover my misdeeds he may be gracious he may graciously enable us all to lead a pious and virtuous life may he bestow upon all of us the wealth of his own love and grant us the approval to follow his own chosen faith of islam may he give us the power to propagate Islam in strict obedience and loyalty to his dearest and most distinguished Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad Eh Disham Ul Hassan, in the 18th of Rabi Al Thani, in 1358. And as I record this, it's the second of the first month of 1442. And Continuing with the Arabic from the conclusion narration of the virtues of Ramadan. Aglik Abwabal Jahime Anne Sa'emine Min Matin Ahmada Salallahu Alaihi Wasallama. Ya Jibrila ah bit elal arde fasfid mauradatta shayakine wangula hum ve agla le thuma akvith hum fil behare hata la yufsidu ala umate muhammadan Habibi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallama Siyamahum Bala Yabulullahu Azawa Jalla Fi Kala Laylatin Min Shahre Ramadana Nemunadin Yunadi Thalatha Maratin Hal Min Sa'ilin Fa'u'e Ahu Sulahu Halman Taibin Fatuba Alehe Halman Mus Dagfirin Fogfira Lahu Man Yuk 
Rendu Malia Gayral Andume Wal Wafi Gayra Walome Kala Walalahe Aza Wajalla Fi Kule Yaman Min Shahre Ramadana En Al Eftare Al Ful Al Fe Atike Mena Nare Kuluhum Gada Es Tau Jabu Naru Faeva Kana Akeru Yame Min Shahre Ramadana A Atakalahu Min Dalakel Yamu Bekadre Wa Ataka Min Awale Shahre Ella Akere Ella Kanat And I don't know what Ridwan is supposed to mean exactly, and I don't know what um, Muthira is supposed to mean exactly, but the point is that there is a change that happens in Ramadan. A change that happens in the Night of Power. And one of the changes is that um, the temptation from metaphysical beings stops. It's all you now. Uh, what, whatever you've been programmed, and you're trying to reprogram yourself, obviously. Um, Layla to Padre Yamarulahu Aza Wajala Njibraila Fiyahbitu Fi Kabkabatin Menel Mala Ekate Wamaahum Levaun Akdaru Fiyar Kuzu Lewa Allah Rahrel Kaabate Wallahu Meatu Janahen Minha Janaha Ne La Yan Shuru Huma Elafi Tilka Layla Te Fayan Shuru Huma Fi Tilka Layla Te Fayu Jawe Zu Mash Rika Elal Mangrebe Fayahu Tu Jibra Ilu Alehe Salamu Mala Ekata Fi Hadhi Layla Te Fayu Salemuna Ala Kule Kaemin Waka Edin Wa Mu Salen Wada Kirin Wa Yu Sa Fehuna Hum Wa Yu Wam Menuna Ala U Aehim Hata Yat Lu O Fajru Fa Eda Ta La A Fajru Yunadi Jibrailu Ma Ashiral Mala E Kate Ra Hila Ra Hila Ra Hila Ra Hila Ya Kulu Ya Jibrila Faman Sana Alahu Fi Hawa Eje Mumen Nina Men Umatin Ahmada Salalahu Alehe Wasalama Fiya Kulu Nahara Lahu El Yahim Fi Hadde He Leila Te Faafa Anhum Ella Arba Atan Fakulna Ya Rasula Lahe Man Hum Kala Rajulun Mood menu Kamrin wa akun le wa le dehe wa ka te u ra hemmen wa mu sha hemnun kuna ya rasula lahe mal mu sha hemnu kala u wal mu sa rimu fa eda kanat leila tul 
Gre Sumbiat Telkal Layla Tu Layla Tal Jabur Zate Faeda Kanat Lada Tul Petre Ba Athalahu Azza Wajalal Mala e Kata Bikule Beladin Fayah Betuna Elal Arde Fayakumuna Ala Afwahel Sen Kake Fayuna Duna Besautin Yasmau Man Kalakalahu Aza Wajalla Elal Tana Wal Ensa Layakuluna Yakumata Muhammadin Akruju Ella Rabin Karinin Uati and like not so much in other nights, uh, I mean greater than the extent of other nights, um, that these light beings will respond to our worship um, and they'll do their own thing um, by the command of God, of course, and the green flag on top of the Kaaba, the green flag, of course, representing Islam itself, the uh, the nature, you know, because being upon your nature, your true nature, not necessarily what you've convinced yourself and programmed yourself into, but your true nature. Al Jazila Waya Afu Anil Athime Baeda Barazu Ela Musalam Hum Fiyakulu Lahu Aza Wajalla Walmala E Kete Wajaza Ul Ajire Eda Amilla Amalahu Ala fatakulu mala e katu elahuna wa sayedu na jaza uhu an tu wa fiyahu adrahu ala fiyakulu fa eni ushidu hum ya mala e kati Ani Kanja Altu the Wabahum Min Siamehim Shahra Ramadana Wakiamehim Ridai Wa Mongferati Wayakulu Ya Ebade Saluni The Wa Izati Wajalali La tas aluni ala yama she an fi jam ekum le ake rate kum e la a dai tu kum wala le dunya kum e la na thar tu la kum fa wa e zati la as tu rana ale kum a tha rate kum Ma ra babtu muni wa ezati wa jalali la u zikum wa la uf de hukum baina as habe o hudu de wa wan sarifu magfu ran la kum bad ar de tu. Mu ni wa rabi tu ankum fa taf rahul mala e katu wa tas tabshiru de ma yu ati lahu atza wa jalla had the heel umata e da af taru men shahre ramadana. And obviously, the, the coming of 
the months and all that um, are essential um, to regard um, the coming of events in months. But think of, you know, okay, obedience comes first, but it's a symbol, right? So the cube in Mecca is a symbol, you know, cubes and squares and um, it's a symbol of the mental construction of consciousness. So, you know, confirming of keeping it real. But, um, to which are spread out on this night only. Um, okay, the faithful ones. So just like um, just like the talk about Abrahamic covenants and all that sort of thing, the uh, faithful ones will, of course, have something different um, in their situation than those who aren't, but were given the opportunity. Um, there's no obedience to anybody in disobedience of God, so... Of course, that doesn't mean that, for example, uh, some people will try to, well, when I'm by myself, I try to make my prayers an hour long, and my parents try to get me to do things for them. It's like, well, okay, maybe um, you're not praying for five hours a day or something. Um, you tend to your parents. That's a very rewarding thing. Um, but even when things are over with, even when Ramadan's over with, um, just like special blessings for the holidays there's also the importance of continuing yourself okay what's happening on the spiritual realms but in your physical and mental uh, processes you're continuing Ramadan and in terms of worthiness I'll talk about that in terms of, of the the preface there. You were worthy of whatever you're capable of doing. Your mental and physical faculties are there because you're worthy of whatever application that you can rightfully do with them. Now, if you have the ability to claim stuff that's not true, that doesn't mean I'm saying to claim that or such things. <laughs> 